How's it going YouTube? It's me the cool loser and here I have the new Lexi KM04 dual device wireless keyboard with touchpad and this will work for Windows, Android, iOS, Mac OS as well. And this is a Bluetooth keyboard it's a user manual that I won't read but I went for this one because of this entire reason the prop for my phone or tablet. It's wide enough to set that huge iPad. So here's my Nexus. Just like that, I already have it. Look at that. Now I got my display here of how I record my videos. And you can see there, that's my monitor. Horizontal it. Let me show this camera right here. That looks pretty cool. And then we have the micro USB cable. All right, this is an optimal experience right here. There's two Bluetooth settings. There's one side and two. So that way I can have the tablet and I can switch it over and go to the phone. But before I get into that, let's take a closer look of the design. It's plasticky. You can kind of hear it. Fairly light. It's definitely solid, but it's not screaming a metal quality type of keyboard here. I like the keys. The presses have a good bounce to it. And they're not super loud, they're not super quiet, but I like that. It does have six little rubber grommets on the bottom so it doesn't slide around on you. And there's a micro USB port. This is also rubber so it's going to be soft for your tablets or phones. It also matches my speaker here. Alright guys, okay, so I'm going to hold and hit the power. There we see a red light. Now we got a Bluetooth blinking, and I'm gonna search for my phone, and I'll put it on the second, actually. Phone says right there, it's a weird number. We'll see what happens with the blinking. We'll allow this, the code, Bluetooth pairing, type in the code. I love that this is here. It's a little small one. I'm not very good at pressing these, and this is a little bit easier. And let's press enter. And there we go. It is connected. So, this actually turns my screen on and off with that little lock that is super cool. Perfect angle for me to see my phone. And now let's switch it over to the left side. It just disconnected. And we'll go into Bluetooth. Enter. And now we are connected. Set that there. Go home. I guess I could have pressed the key here. But I can navigate. Here's lock the screen. Unlock the screen. Press enter. Nice! I knew I was gonna love it already. All the other gestures, let's say, skip it forward, volume, volume up, volume down. So that's very useful there. I'm gonna press this key. Oh, it brings up emojis. Press this one. Nice, goes to the Google. I'm gonna hold FN and press that. The mouse, oh! There's a trackpad right here that I can use even multi-gesture. Look at this thing. You can multi-touch. If I don't want to touch my screen or if it wasn't a touch screen, I can totally use this for browsing the internet. So let's switch over and see how it quickly goes onto my phone. And it's connected. There it goes. I didn't have to do it. It just shows up right there. Feels like an actual computer with a different experience of not having to touch your screen. You keep your screen clean. And if you like to, you don't have to have a mouse. This is completely all here for you to use all in one. But remember, you can use it this route and we can go into that way. I like it. It's very responsive. Swipe over to the left side. Three, two, one, and it connected as I was counting down. So you can see right here on the cursor. Woo. Oh, well, look at that. <laughs> I kept my phone in even when it was going forward. So you can definitely leave it like that and it does tend to want to fall over although you don't want to use it that way but you could. Of course I only showcased it here on a mobile device so you can connect to your computer if you have Bluetooth or how about your Android TV because it's Bluetooth. It's a universal keyboard that is awesome. The main big purpose is the ability setting your tablets, your mobile phones, even your Windows Surface will be able to set up here. A lot of space for it still to jiggle around so if it's fatty it's still going to fit in there quite nicely. Perfectly angled for what I need it for typing on my desk or anywhere I want to take this with me. Awesome features if you ask me. If you want for yourself, find it in the description down below. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Later.